A lot of users kind of grapple with whether to use Notion for their just quick tasks and simple checklists or to stick to a more minimal tool like Todoist for those needs. But by adding Todoist to your Notion pages, you kind of get the best of both tools and you're able to manage them in a single place within Notion. And the way that you're able to do that is through Notion's embed block, which is going to embed Todoist's web app within your Notion pages. And it'll display Todoist just as you'd see it on your mobile devices. And if you choose Todoist's neutral theme, it'll display really nicely within your Notion pages. Its aesthetic will integrate almost seamlessly. But initially configuring Todoist within the embed block can be a little bit tricky if you're going to be using it across multiple devices, including your, your smartphone. So I've got a method here that's going to allow you to configure it in the most seamless way. And there's a post on Notion VIP that describes this process through text, and that's going to allow you to copy and paste some of the URLs that you'll need. So you may want to reference that as you initially configure Todoist within Notion. So to get us started here, I'm going to delete this existing instance of Todoist within Notion so that we can build it out together. So you'll start by adding a new block and you're going to add an embed block. And for the URL, you're going to want to paste Todoist sign in URL. So I'm going to paste that here and choose embed link. And then you're going to want to sign in and you're going to want to sign in on every device where you'll be accessing this block. So if you use Notion on your tablets, on multiple desktops, on your phone, you're going to want to sign in on all of those devices. And if you try to sign in with Google, it's probably going to give you a hard time. So you're going to want to set up your Todoist account with a password and then sign in on all of those devices. So after you've signed in on all of your devices, on any of those devices, and it's kind of easiest on a desktop, but you can do it on mobile too, you're going to want to replace that embed URL with just the standard Todoist URL. So what you'll do is at the top right of the embed block, you're going to want to click the three dots and those three dots will not be visible on your mobile device but if you fidget with it and click around that top right area it'll prompt this menu that'll give you the option to replace the url so it'll be the same to do as url but you're just going to erase all of the content that follows that backslash and just stick to to todoist.com and then you can click embed link and having already signed in, it'll take you to your content. So here you have the ability to click the menu and choose any of your projects configured within Todoist. And that update is going to be reflected across all of your devices. So you don't have to worry about updating the URL on your tablet or on your mobile phone. You can just do it on one device and you're good to go. So there, Todoist is fully configured within Notion. And after that, you can just resize and rearrange your blocks however you want them to display. So I like to include the Todoist block as a column. So we'll drag up this other content and it'll refresh. Um, but we, uh, from there, you can um, do a little bit of resizing. We can extend the width of Todoist while minimizing the width of these pillars. Um, and again, all of these changes will be reflected across all of your devices. So that does it. That's how you can manage Todoist directly within Notion. If you have any trouble getting configured, feel free to tweet at me at William Nutt. And uh, you can also reply to the Notion VIP newsletter if you'd like. And thank you for the opportunity to share this little quick tip